What up YouTube? Ed Weskergriff coming back with a mail day recap video. Have a plethora of goodies to show off, so tons of rookies, tons of value box stuff that I've been picking up off eBay recently. Also a couple slabs and a purchase from Mr. Ty Nitty slash Bo Nitty slash Ty Villanueva. So got a pretty cool purchase from him that I'm going to open live. So let's hop right on into it. First, I've actually busted some retail recently. So I went to Barnes & Nobles out of all the places in the world. And apparently certain Barnes & Nobles locations now carry cards, which I totally did not know. So I went in there looking at books, looking at manga, vinyl records, uh, you know, just uh, kind of hanging out a little bit at Barnes and Nobles. And then when I go to check out with the stuff that I was going to buy, I noticed behind the counter that they had uh, Panini Donruss cards, uh, blaster boxes with a whole bunch of signage up there. Probably should have took a picture of all the signs, but there was four to five signs up there stressing that it was limit one per customer per day. So bought a blaster box and I actually did really good on the box. It was a lot of fun. 88 cards in the box. I didn't open it live or anything on the channel. But the best card I pulled was this awesome insert of Juan Soto. The Unleashed insert from Donruss. And huge shout out to Shoebox Legends. He recently showed this card off on his channel and was talking about uh, 2021 Donruss and oddly enough as soon as I pulled this card the first thing I thought of was Shoebox Legends and the video that he made for that so pretty cool coincidence to pull this card out of a out of a retail blaster as well really wild design with the lion the bear and the snake so pretty cool really was thrilled about that also hit pretty much every major rookie in the product except Alec Bohm. Got Mountcastle, Cabrian Hayes, um, a whole bunch of different rookies, Evan White. But then I also pulled this pretty cool uh, purple. I think the purples are the retail exclusives, uh, Diamond Kings of Juan Soto. So that box was definitely loaded with the Soto. So was really thrilled about that. Just happened to be at the right place at the right time and... From now on, I guess it's check Barnes and Nobles as well because certain locations apparently carry cards now, which is pretty wild to think about. So that's pretty cool. Now on to the actual pickups from eBay. Uh, the first one here, haven't picked up anything for this side PC in a while, but rectified that recently. Picked up this beautiful 1957 Tops near mint to mint 8 of Willie Puddinghead Jones. So beautiful example there of the 57 tops with Willie Puddinghead Jones. Just looks really, really super clean. Very well centered there. Pretty uh, sharp corners. Just a real awesome example of this card. So I was able to snag that for, I believe I got it for under $50. So got a really nice deal on it. So there's the back. I'm almost actually done uh, doing the run on the Willie Jones uh, different cards throughout the 50s and the early 60s. I think I only got a few left. Uh, definitely the early 50 cards, and I believe he's also in 48 Bowman. So um, some of those uh, more higher end, I guess, vintage sets are eluding me. But give it time. I'll work my way through it. I'll get them eventually. Uh, next is another slabbed pickup. This is from 2019 Tops. This is the Star Wars Living Set. Uh, really been wanting to add this card into the collection. Was watching this card for several months, and the guy had about like five, six, seven. He had a bunch of them up there, and he was selling a few here and there. But he had one left, and like I said, was watching it for a few months. And he had it up there for $80, and he sent me a private offer I guess the private offer was for anyone watching the card. And sometimes that does happen if you're watching a card. So it does pay to watch a card on eBay because sometimes the seller will send a private offer if you're watching the card. 
But anyway, I digress. The seller sent an offer for $50. So he had it up there for 80 free shipping and sent an offer for 50. So with the with the recent PSA price hike, the fact that this is an online exclusive card, I thought this was a fantastic deal. So pulled the trigger. This is a PSA Gemmin 10 of Wedge Antilles. So one of my favorite characters from the original trilogy, the Ace of Aces in the Star Wars saga, survived every major battle, was never shot down. Not even Luke can say that. And uh, just a really, really awesome card. Uh, my, actually, my favorite moment from The Rise of Skywalker <laughs> was the two, the four-second cameo that, that Wedge actually had at the end of the movie when he was on the Millennium Falcon. I literally was sitting in the seat, and as soon as Wedge popped up, the first thing I said out loud was, Oh my god, it's Wedge. So it was really, really cool that he did come back. That was probably the highlight of the movie for me. But uh, really, really cool card. Glad to add it into the collection. There's the back. Just a criminally underrated character from the original trilogy and from the uh, Star Wars franchise overall. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to kind of be curious to see if he will be in or if they'll recast him in the Rogue, um, the Rogue Squadron movie coming up. I kind of can't see how his character wouldn't at least be mentioned or be in that type of film since he is the... Uh, ace pilot of the Rebel Alliance and uh, the best pilot in the uh, Star Wars franchise. So Wedge Antilles. Awesome card. And then next is a whole treasure trove of pickups from JT. Uh, Triple Crown 24. These are all multiple orders. Uh, kind of feel bad because JT's been posting a lot of new stuff to the store and periodically I'm finding things that are getting newly listed and I just keep buying them. Uh, so I've done about like five to six separate orders. So there's a chunk of orders that are in here. So you'll be seeing them and uh, got all these cards for, you know, a few bucks. It's not breaking the bank. So just finding alternative means to enjoy the hobby. And so the first card here, we got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Rookie debut. It was uh, like a buck and a quarter picked up two of those then we got some Bo Bichette rated rookies from Donruss picked up a couple of those so bought three of those then we got a Donruss optic rookies of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. we got a Topps Chrome second year uh, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. with the Rookie Cup. And I did a run on Trevor Bauer, picking up some prisms. Uh, we got the prism refractor there. The base refractor. The pink, which is a retail exclusive. Then we have another pink. It's from 2019. Then we got some Anthony Santander. Pink. Steph Curry. Swishful Thinking insert from Optic. Walker Bueller. Refractor Rookie Cup. Vladimir Guerrero Jr., 35th anniversary. Love the shine on that. Looks really sweet. Pop that in the Z folio. Speaking of sweet shine, we got a Nelly Cruz who's tearing it up again for the twins. What is he, like 44, 45 years old, still smashing dingers every other day? But he was amazing when he was with the Orioles. And uh, we got the uh, cracked ice here, the prism uh, refractor from Topps Chrome. Then we got a Jose Abreu Hollow from Optic. A little Tobias Harris from Revolution. He's been playing really good this year for the Sixers. Uh, purple Optic. This is kind of an Orioles throwback here. The, di uh, the Diamond Anniversary Cognac of Chris Tillman was great for the 2012 Orioles. 
Then I picked up this. This is the pink from 2018 Topps Groom Update Tyler O'Neill. Figure I'd take a flyer on that for a buck or two. One fit 150 year stamp of Garrett Hampson. Picked up a bunch of Garrett Hampson as well. Drafted him out on every single one of my fantasy teams this year. Kind of buying in on Garrett Hampson. And so far, so good with Garrett Hampson. Tons of runs, tons of stolen bases. I think he stole three bases tonight against the Diamondbacks. So we'll see how he does with a full season. I'm, I'm expecting some decent numbers playing at Coors Field. So another Garrett Hampson. So these were all like a bucker, buck, buck 50. So it kind of can't beat that. It's kind of like a virtual card show. Garrett Hampson. Then picked this up for the Phillies. Uh, Chase Utley Pennant Chasers from Upper Deck. Neat card there. Didn't, never seen that one before. We got the Phillies Special. Walgreens Exclusive. Harper and Reese Hoskins. Reese Hoskins has been playing really well recently. Then we got a little bit of Kyle Tucker. This is the pink retail exclusive of Donner's Optic, the rated rookie. Then we also have the lime green rated rookie of Kyle Tucker. Then we have a Vladdy rookie from Bowman Platinum. And then to uh, top it off, we got some Boba Shed here. So the opening day rookie of Boba Shetts and the rookies optic of Boba Shetts. So picked up all those cards from the uh, Triple Crown 24 eBay store. I'll leave the link down below so you guys can go check it out. And I highly recommend checking it out because JT's posting. He's posting, I think, like over, I would say, 75 to 100 new listings a day. And there's a lot of really cool inserts, rookies, uh, just a whole bunch of stuff that's getting posted that uh, definitely piques my attention. So I've been just picking up stuff periodically here and there. So check it out if you guys want to. Leave the link down below. And then finally is the package from Ty. So let's get this cracked on open. Ty told me to open this live, so that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, what's in here, should be in here, is a Alec Bohm first Bowman refractor that I purchased off of him. But Ty said he was gonna send some extras. So we got a little box here. And we got a couple stacks. Let's cut this box open first. Looks like we got some miscellaneous cards in here. I think he threw some chromes in here. Oh no, these are rookies. Uh, Adam Hazley. So... Dubont for the Giants. I think Ty said he was just going to throw in a ton of rookies. Justin Dunn. The Jesus Lizard. It has some nice shine to it. These are all from 2020 tops, I think. Yep. Jake Rogers. Spencer Howards. Got, so I'm not familiar with him. Eagles prospect. I mean, Eagles. Phillies prospect. Here's the Eagles. Titans rookie. Wow. This is awesome. Miles Sanders. Awesome card, Ty. Rookie of the year contenders. Miles Sanders. JJ Argatha Whiteside. Nelson Aguilar. Nelson Aguilar. Jordan Alvarez from Ginter. Ranger great Nick Solak. Have him on a few fantasy teams. He needs to pick up the pace a little bit. Just hit a home run tonight, so we'll see if that gets him going. Nick Solak. Austin Nola. And Seth Brown. There's a lot of cool rookies there. Put some of those in Z-Folio. Other ones I'll probably... I told Ty this, I'll move them on to other people if they need it for their collection. That's neat. And let's see. Let's go 
get this uh, little pack on to open. We got a whole bunch of more rookies in here. Good God, Ty. Loaded it up with a ton of rookies. We got Dustin May, who won out the fifth starter job, and I drafted him as a relief pitcher in one of my leagues. So win-win there. I didn't expect him to be in the rotation. Thought uh, Dave Roberts would... Uh, be more uh what's the right word I'm looking for here I guess I guess baby him a little more but I'm glad that he uh he didn't and I'm glad that Dustin May's in the rotation he has awesome stuff so glad to see that they're believing in him and giving him a spot to shine next we got Bobby Witt Jr a lot of hype around him hear it all the time on Facebook I did not have this card wow thank you very much Ty Kyle Lewis Topps Chrome rookie did not have that. That's an awesome card. Did not have this one either. Gavin Lux, Chrome Rookie. He's been playing a lot better recently. Doing really well with the Dodgers. Another Lux Rookie. And then we have a Bobby Bradley Rookie. Indians. Oh, we got Louis Robert. Lou Bob, 35th anniversary rookie, did not have this one as well. Jeez, Ty, you're you're bombing it with the uh, the rookies. I thought you said you were trying to build your stockpile rookies, and now you're you're bombing me back. I mean, you're just hooking it all up with all these rookie cards. We got a Dominic Smith, numbered out of 99. Phillies uh, won the series against the Mets, the home series. Phillies playing damn good, five and one already. Pretty good. Pretty damn good. We got more here. We got a Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Randy Arazarena. Toro. Another Lubob. And we got... There's more in here. Hold on, I gotta cut this blue tape. cards. Gotta take my time. Yu Chang, Indians, and Nico Horner. And the purchase card was this Alec Bohm, first Bowman Chrome uh, ref refractor, I think it is. Yep, refractor. So, another boom. I have one other one. I sent it off for Graydon a, a while back, I want to say. So, it's probably out there somewhere. But, uh, this one I'm going to be holding on to. Boom just hit a homer today uh, against the, the Mets. So, maybe that I'll get his power stroke going. But he's been pretty damn good so far for the Phils. Uh, hitting at a nice pace. Had a couple game winning RBIs recently so he's been playing pretty damn well so thank you Ty for this thank you for all the extras good lord Ty that was like a care package in and of itself all those rookie cards so thank you so much uh Ty appreciate that leave his link down below for his YouTube channel and that's all I got for you guys so almost 19 minutes of your time that you're spending here appreciate you guys if you're still watching and I hope everyone out there is doing well Hope you guys are having fun in the hobby, and take care, guys. And remember, check those Barnes & Noble store. You never know. Get you know, get a Starbucks, read, uh, read some comics, and uh, maybe you'll run into retail instead of going to Target and Walmart and uh, getting into fisticuffs. So <laughs> maybe it's easier to go to Barnes & Noble. So take care, guys. Have a great one. Peace.